Alright, so I'm no fancy YouTuber or anything else like that, but I got in a little bickering match with this uh, kid on YouTube, Stanley Ho, Stanley Howe, I'm not sure how to say your name, I really don't care. Uh, this isn't even a diss thing, I'm hoping this to be more educational than it is insulting. So, first of all, typical YouTube warriors, I'll have you know that all firearms have been cleared, magazines emptied out of each firearm, and I have a couple examples specifically just to dictate the point we were talking about about Techna clips and why most actual gun enthusiasts and people who carry every day actually don't recommend Techna clips they're unsafe for different reasons the trigger guard remains bleachers he was grabbing his grabbing his waistband to hike his pants up, and in hiking his pants up, when he went to index, since he couldn't actually hold the firearm in his hands. By the way, I'm not trying to act like a know-it-all, uh, Stanley or whatever. I daily carry this for over two years. Um, she was replaced by her new bigger sister, Serena, the Smith & Wesson, but I still carry this one time to time for that deep concealment. Not trying to act like a know-it-all, but as someone who, as you can see by the wear, use, and everything like that, I put about 5,000 rounds to this. I kind of know what I'm talking about with this firearm, so if you kindly just shut the fuck up, that'd be awesome. All right, continuing on with the little pissy rant there, <laughs> whenever I said it wasn't going to be a dissing thing. Uh, so all firearms are safe, this, that, and the other. He was just grabbing his pants to hike them up and pull them up, and in doing so, accidentally got his finger in here and depressed the trigger, having a negligent discharge. Now, going back on to the whole, by the way, all the other crazy guns knobs, sorry, yes, I am going to slam the drive slide forward with the slide release because I am one-handed right now. But, see this little safety right here? Not with this, like this. The reason being is the holster that it sits in is designed to keep that safety lever protected. Keep anything from getting inside of the trigger guard, potentially depressing the trigger. I mean, look at the fucking rust from my fat ass sweat. That's how often I carried this bitch. And this is the same holster I carried with the Dever. And mine is also slightly cut because I do have a red dot mount for it as well that I do not regularly use. I use it for the range to play around with. But that way, you can have your safety on, since you keep wanting to go on about the safety... And then nothing can accidentally manipulate it. Because guess what? If you're just having this fumbling around in your waistband and you stretch and stretch and your belt's right here and you're stretching and stretching and moving and oh, what was that? Oh, look at that. The safety came off. There's always a chance. Eliminate any kind of chance. That's the reason why the firearms designed the way they are. All right, let's move on to uh, second style. Like I was telling you, if the poor kydex is too hard for you there's this company i don't know if you've heard of them alien gear small little company they make these things called hybrid holsters it has this really nice soft neoprene i wear this one whenever it's hot as fuck here in florida reason being same reason why i carry the other holster everything is covered right here is that part protected no but the trigger is far far inside of there there's no way if you can see that little detent right here, there's no way something is going to get up underneath that kydex somehow past this detented part in the holster specifically designed to keep anything from pressing in on the trigger and then also depressing the trigger all at the same time. And again, let me see if you can see that safety. I guarantee you, you can see that external safety on a Techno clip. Moving on, Smith & Wesson, SD40. Just some night sights, nothing really fancy. This is my new carry gun. This is the one I carry fairly regularly. Guess what? Also, Kydex holster, trigger guard, completely covered. Safety, oh, that's right. It doesn't have a safety. You shouldn't need an external safety. Your holster is your safety. The only safety this gun has right here is right here in the trigger. Keeps your booger finger off of the trigger. Hence why my indexes are very, very prominent on both sides of my gun. I grab my gun. I don't grab it like this. 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 
I grab it right there, put my finger right on the fucking little index point. It's not difficult. Moving on, even more. My pocket gun. Yes, I even have a little pocket gun that I'll use. Let me... Guess where the safety is on this? The trigger. That's why these grooves are here. They're somewhere to index your finger, keeping it away from the booger hook finger. So this doesn't happen. And guess what this goes in? I don't just drop this in my pocket. I don't use a Technoclip with this. I use this thing called a sticky holster. Really cool thing. Guess what? It covers the trigger guard completely. That's the whole point of it. It's the whole point of holsters. Holsters are your safety. All right? The holsters are your safety. Modern guns, and you tried to say, uh, use Glock as an example as far as um, uh, how Glocks ha don't have external safeties, and that's why, but the Taurus has a trigger safety. Glocks are the ones that came up with this. Glock sued Smith & Wesson over this design specifically, because Smith & Wesson straight up fucking ripped their polymer frame series. Whatever, who cares? That's kind of like the standard now. Even with the same Taurus G2C, it's the same thing. Two takedown levers, polymer frame, metal slide, all that good shit. The fact of the matter is, these are not dangerous. I'm not going to take this and just fling it, and it's going to magically just go off. This one is not magically just going to start shooting anywhere. This is not magically going to start shooting anywhere. Fucking, <clears throat> that's not magically going to start shooting anywhere. Because we have holsters, and we're fucking smart. I never claimed that guns just randomly run off shooting places. I'm saying people who are uneducated, and whenever pe other people try and educate them, they want to get upset or butthurt, or whatever the case may be. Holsters are a thing for a reason. Holsters are what keep people who carry, and people around people who carry, safe. All right? That's all I'm trying to convey to you, but you want to get your feelings hurt. I'm sorry you got your feelings hurt, but if you're going to get your feelings hurt over the safety of everyone around you, because, motherfucker, if I catch you carrying a Technoclip and you NG around me, I might as well shoot back at you, because for all I know, you were shooting at me. All right? Now, obviously, I'm being dramatic for the sake of fucking... I got them in the wrong fucking holsters. You got me all fired up. I'm like, why is that not protected? The whole moral of the story is, if you're going to carry, carry smart, get a holster for your particular firearm that does its job. You want to carry in your pocket, they got you. You want to carry comfy, you can go old school, solid leather. Again, look at how much wear I got on this bitch. Solid leather. You want to get comfier or in the summertime, maybe a man-made leather neoprene hybrid. You want to do old school classic style, there's solid good strong kydex years this thing has seen use only wear on it is going to be that right there that little bit of rust because i'm a fat ass and it's florida and i sweat deal with it hopefully this educated you whatever uh stanley ho i already don't forgot your name but whatever the fuck it is here you go